point of interest in conquered Germany for the victorious allies is the prison at Landsberg, where Adolf Hitler was once confined. The former paper hanger was jailed in 1923 in this cell for attempting to overthrow the government. Here he wrote Mein Kampf, planting the seed of Nazi persecution and terror. He returned in 1934 to the cell and signed the visitor's book. The convict was proud of his early days. Hitler's lofty mountain retreat at Berchtesgaden was wrecked by Allied bombs before our ground troops moved in. These are Signal Corps and Air Force pictures. Officers set German laborers to work cleaning up the wreckage. The Great Hall, where he held many war conferences, is a shambles. Hitler's citadel stands as a symbol of defeat. Prize thief among the high Nazis was Hermann Goering, who looted museums and private collections in all parts of Europe. Much was hidden in caves, and advancing troops captured fully laden freight cars, ready to move much of the collection to safer places for Hermann. Goering's ill-gotten loot is no longer his to admire. The collection goes on display for GIs before an Allied commission attempts to return everything to the proper owners. The castle of Neuschwanstein, overlooking Fusen, housed a great part of the art treasures stolen by the Nazis. Taken from royal families, the Rothschilds, and private French collectors, many of the 23,000 pieces were never unpacked. Not content with robbing people of their freedom and their lives, the Nazis tried to make off with their symbols of culture. Among the criminals rounded up is Field Marshal von Rundstedt. His arrogance subdued, but not much, as he's taken into custody. The typically Prussian professional soldier is captured along with his son. It was von Rundstedt who was picked by Hitler to stem the Allied tide in France. Another prize is Field Marshal Kesselring, who was smashed with his armies in Italy. He doesn't seem downcast, yet. He'll stand trial, and that goes for Goering, too. The number two Nazi has the blood of thousands on his hands, and for that, he will have to answer. He wears few of his prized medals, as he's taken to headquarters for preliminary questioning by 7th Army officers and to surrender his arms. Members of the American and British press are present to interview the former head of the Luftwaffe. And, you guessed it, he blames everything on his old pal, Hitler. If Hermann looks worried, maybe he's remembering that he originated concentration camps and was in charge of Hitler's bloody purges, to mention but two of his crimes. He said, the Allies understand me. We do, Herr Goering. For the butcher you are, you're a criminal at bay. Music